Faster, Angie! Fly faster! Mickey, I need a weed out. We're nowhere near the speed that Fog needs. <laughs> Slow pokes! I will not get dusted by that guy! Ha <laughs> 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 ha! We're gaining on him! Get out of our way! Sorry! <laughs> Thought you were someone else. This is so embarrassing! Oh, we're never going to get back home on time. But what about working on our Sparkle Fest display? And Sheila's Christmas present? And catching Santa coming down the chimney! Come, come, kids. Don't any of you believe in the magic of Christmas? La 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 da la 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 da 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 Six thousand thirty-seven, six thousand thirty-eight. So, will you jet fly me around the world at super duper speeds, kids? No. Bob, we'll have to finish this after Christmas. We need more time to figure this out. Huh? More time? Oh, no can do. But I can get you more help. Rupert, at your service, sir. <laughs> Kids, this is Rupert. Best assistant helper I've ever had. And what exactly is Rupert helping them with, sir? Our transportation. We need the, uh, aircraft ready by you know when. <gasps> you brought in strangers to work on, sir? The place is yours, kids. Rupert here will help in any way he can. But, Bob! Here you go, big fella. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. But Rupert is supposed to be in charge of the aircraft. This just isn't right. No assembly errors. No design errors either. It's the fastest engine ever built. What are we missing? Some tasty holiday treats. Plum pudding, marzipan, gingerbread cookies. No, Von Ah, where is your Christmas spirit? On hold until we retest the fuel formula. Can you get us a sample? Yeah, of course. Well. Where is the jet fuel supply? Colder. Colder? Have I passed it? Warmer. Hot. Hot. Jalapeno. Hot. Hot? There are no doors here. Uh oh. What in Himmel? What are you doing here? My eyes cannot believe what they just saw. Someone walked through that wall. I said, what do you want? Rupert is busy. Oh, um, jet fuel sample. How's it going, my young geniuses? We've got some questions about flying at super fast speeds. Ah, one of my favorite topics, aeronautics. I just saw the most amazing thing. Not now, Von Bolt. We're under a tight deadline. Did you know that the Wright brothers weren't really the first humans to fly? You should visit the world's first scientific aerial investigator, Sir George Cayley. Now, what 
was this amazing thing you saw, Von Bolt? Oh, never mind. Wow! So this is how some towns used to celebrate Christmas in 19th century England. Yeah, they called it a frost fair when the river froze over. Excuse me, where can we find Sir George Cayley? Ha! The bloke what thinks he's a birdie? Over there. Sir George Cayley? The father of aeronautics? Yes, yes. Merry Christmas. What did you do? I built a flying machine and everyone thinks it won't work. So, you haven't flown it yet? No, it wouldn't carry my weight. But history tells us it was piloted by a boy. That's a brilliant idea. How much do you weigh, lad? Look! Up in the sky! It's a bird! No, it's a... I don't know what it is. We don't have a word for it yet. Now, exactly how can I help you, children? Your plans are perfect. There's no way to improve your design. Yay! But it'll never fly super duper fast. Oh. There are four basic forces that act on a flying machine and how well it flies. There is lift, when the speed of the air over the top part of the wing is less than the lower part of the wing. The flying machine is lifted. There is weight, the force that presses a flying machine downward since its mass is affected by gravity. There is thrust, the force that propels a flying machine forward. And there is drag. Air moving across the surface of a flying machine creates friction and slows it down. Unfortunately, drag beats the three other forces. If you want to double your speed, you need eight times more power. And to go 100 times faster takes a million times more power. So you see, at faster speeds, the air acts like a solid wall. So, sorry, children. No, no, you've helped us. But I just told you flying at super-duper fast speed is impossible. No, you said we have to fly through walls. I know what you're saying, sis. Thanks, Sir Gailey. Nikki, remember our experiments on granular convection? Look. The smaller balls are moving past the larger balls to end up at the bottom of the bowl. That's how Bob is going to be able to fly super duper fast. Yes! We make the jet's molecules smaller than the air molecules so Bob can squeeze through the gaps between them. Hey, where's Von Bolt? Oh, probably spreading more Christmas cheer somewhere. No, not here. Or here. See if it's a door here someplace. Ah, uh, same charade. Every time Bob has visitors. Kate! I know you were in there. I saw you! This is becoming a habit. What is it now? The worker! The invisible door! Uh, perhaps I need an oil change. to work this time. Starting jet engine now! <laughs> Let's see how fast this baby can go. First, Paris, France. Then, San Francisco, California. Then, the Great Wall of China. <laughs> Fantastic, kids! <laughs> How'd you fix the problem with the aerodynamic drag? Simple. Granular convection. 
Basically, it's how smaller objects can move easily past larger objects, but not the other way around. We just reduce the size of the molecules in us and the jet to eliminate all drag. Fantastic. Thomas was sure right about you, kids. And speaking of Mr. Edison, we've got to get home to get him a Christmas gift. And surprise, Sheila. And rock the Sparkle Fest light show. And set a trap for Santa. Say, kids, now I just need for you to figure out how to get a few trillion boxes inside the jet and make the whole thing invisible. Night, night. Uh, now what else can keep us from going home? Open sesame! Hebra hmm. cadabra! Oh, for jingle, I'm a sick! For more fun videos, subscribe to Cartoon Channel.